As shown below is the DVD or top box connection with the transmitter. Look for DVD or top box signal output. If there is an HDMI cable connected to the DVD, please unplug it. RCA port is also named as AV port, where the color white is left audio, red is right audio, and yellow is video. Connect the RCA cable plug with its color corresponding to that of the DVD or top box output with the transmitter. The product comes with an adapter that split RCA connections into two set of connections. One is for connecting the living room TV and the other is for connecting the DVD or top box. Plug in the power adapter and then switch on. During operation, if the remote control is unable to control or not responsive, then we need to check the transmitter placement. Whether both the IR indicator of the transmitter and the IR indicator of the signal source display are parallel to each other with the transmitter protruding about two centimeters. If the above method did not solve the remote control problem, then check for the possibility of interferences between the transmitter and the signal source device. To identify the problem, separate both the transmitter and the signal source. Then make use of the IR extension cable that comes with the product to enable remote control functions. This will also work if there is no space to place the transmitter. Below describes the connection of the receiver. After completing the connection to the receiver, switch the TV on and select AV input channel. If there is a need to select top box, DVD channels, or volume control, it can be done with IR remote control for long distance control. During viewing, when there is interference in the picture or noise, it can be solved by changing the channels. The transmitter and the receiver must be in the same channels or else the device will not work. If more TVs are needed, Share one signal source to view at the same time. An additional of one transmitter and a few more receivers will work.